Well, it's Tuesday. Yes. And we're playing around again it's, down here at the workbench. Exactly. Not up there in the attic. No, no. But the workbench is just as nice. Well, one of the reasons <laughs> we're down here is we just got a new item from eBay. Oh, boy. I've been searching for one of these. Not that I don't already have like two or three of them, but I've been looking for a good one. And that's the Slant 6 engine from 1962. Wow, the Chrysler. The Chrysler. And we've got that other movie on the model that never was. Right. Which really goes into the history of how this model came into existence instead of the Chevrolet 283, which is what they originally did. It's fascinating. The link here will take you to that. You should watch it. It's right. absolutely fascinating. But uh, as a kid, if I were to put together a list of my favorite kits of all time, it, there, you can never have a favorite, but you can have a top five, maybe. Exactly. And at the, in the top two of the top five <laughs> would have been the Slant 6. Oh, wow. And so, oddly enough, I still have my Slant 6 <laughs> from back in the day. And oh, I thought boy. I'd share what's left of that oh. with you. Ah. It's, it's here on the floor. Oh, my gosh. It's a little beat up, isn't it? Just a little bit. But as I, I went to great lengths to create what I consider to be better spark plug wires because these are the ones that it came with. Wow, that's And uh, crazy. you can see the rocker cover is yeah. missing. Uh, so I've been looking for an extra rocker cover. I now have like four of them. Yes. <laughs> but I wanted to get a whole fresh kit. Uh, my, my goal has been to have fix this one and get it back together, mm -hmm. maybe build another one mm -hmm. out of parts, and then have a pristine unbuilt kit. Well, that'd be neat. So just, just to have in yeah. the box. Well, the box that, that I have had for the longest time is anything but pristine. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> But this, uh, and I found this one on eBay quite some time ago, and as you can see... Has it been on fire, or is that coffee stains? Those are coffee stains, <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Some bleach and, there. And the, oh, my. But it has been a receptacle for all of my junk parts. Oh. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Therein lies my, my collection of junk. Val um, valve, valve covers. covers, but as you can see, because I was went out looking for a valve cover because I knew I needed one. I now have four of those. That one even has oil and everything on it. You know, you know how at the car meets they sometimes have valve cover races. Yeah, that's fun. I mm -hmm. thought about taking one of these and weighting it and putting wheels on it and entering it in a Pinewood Derby. It's about the right size. Because it fit the Pinewood Derby try and just yeah. you know have a <laughs> scale model. Uh, <laughs> I digress. Oh my anyway, God. here's. <laughs> Here's my collection. I do have a really nice lid for the for the motorizing kit. I have one really nice decal, not the whole set, but what, so I have just these odd parts. I just saw Rat Fink run through the middle of that he, too. This is his junkyard. <clears throat> this is his junkyard. I may be a little bit shy on carburetors. I'm not sure because the other one has no carburetor, and I'm just not sure. You but I'm, have a carburetor. I'm pretty sure that in here there's enough pieces to fabricate fix, one. Fix the one that's missing parts, build a whole other one. But what that leaves me needing is an unbuilt pristine kit. Exactly. I for think the, there's for one the there. collection. And and there are parts here that are on the trees and so on. So that could help with that. But look what we just opened here on eBay. Oh my. Here's the uh, opening footage of, of cracking open the cardboard box just as it arrived from eBay. This seller, I've never seen such quality packaging in my life. It was wonderful. But here, here is the kit uh, as delivered. And is that something else? That is a beautiful box. That was well, brand just the, the box new. is perfect. It is. And the box was something that I, I was in need of. Now, I knew... Because an absolutely perfect, pristine, unbuilt, still on the trees and in the bags kit. They're expensive. Five to six hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Easy. I didn't pay anything vaguely like that, but that's because this is not that. But it does have uh, all Ooh. of the original paperwork. 
Look in, at that. in more or less uh, mint condition. And uh, underneath all of the plastic here. Um, oh, you have a block. But it, but it has been started. However, in that other box in loose parts, I think I have these parts on the loose. So this could function as the one I want to build. I, I'm mm. just not sure. Also, the head, the head. has been assembled. And, uh, but not entirely, not completely. Oh, it even has the valves and everything in it. Doesn't it? It's, it's an absolutely perfect model of a Slant 6. And if you watch that other movie on the model that never was, what you're going to find is the way they made this is they bought a Slant 6. Actually, in this case, Chrysler gave them one <laughs> and, and $100,000 to go along with it wow. to, to do the tool work. They dismantled the engine and then they pantographed the actual parts. Oh. So the way you normally make a plastic model kit is you do all of the prototyping three times normal size, mm. sometimes four times normal size, but three is pretty common. So for example, River Rossi, whose uh, model locomotives we've looked at so many times, they did all of their original pattern work in 129th scale mm. because then they could pantograph it down to the European equivalent of O scale, HO scale, which is what they were really after, and N scale, all wow. from the same. Just because on the pantograph, it's a milling machine that actually carves the molds, mm. and a little finger goes around on the part that you're trying to make the pattern, the mold for, and it copies the pattern. Anyway, uh, so this was all pantographed off of an actual engine. Wow. As was the 283 that they never produced. They oh. bought the 283, dismantled the 283, and pantographed the 283, and then destroyed the molds because Chrysler paid them to destroy the molds. Anyway, here we have it. The, uh, and a lot of these parts are still in bags. Look at that. Pristine. And, valve and, cover. and for a heck of a lot <laughs> less than, than five to uh, six hundred dollars. Right. So there it is. I think I think at the end of the day here we will have restoration of the old one, mm -hmm. a brand new one built from parts, and a complete unbuilt kit nice. in a mint box. I hope that's the goal. Well, if you, uh, if you haven't been over to the channel, do pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Right. And the easy way to do both, are you ready for it? Zoing. Right there, the blue button. The blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday with the Sunday Drive. <laughs> we'll see, see you. Bye-bye.